So in the future, will the demand for developers increase or decrease? Short answer, it's going to increase, but it's going to change in, the, uh, in terms of the skill sets that they're going to be looking for specifically. There's a great, huge opportunity now that I think all developers, not all, but a lot of developers should jump on and uh, you're going to do well. So the obvious is learn about the AI landscape and integrate the AI tools that are out there into your work. So what's going to happen with AI and development? Essentially, AI is going to be a technology where a lot of companies are going to want AI technology integrated into their business in some form or another. So developers who understand the AI landscape, they understand uh, what can be implemented, what it can do, are going to get a lot more job opportunities. I think it's a huge opportunity, in fact, for any early adopters to get into it. I'm already talking to people who are doing that now. If you are a web developer, as an example, and you understand how to integrate GPT and other AIs into a website, whether you're building chatbots or whatever other AI-based solutions, you're going to do very well. I've seen this before. This reminds me back in the uh, 90s when the web started rising and just becoming a web developer was huge. But at the time when they were building web apps, they were using called a Perl, something called Perl CGI and flat file databases. Flat file databases are basically uh, an early version of a NoSQL database. Anyhow, people like me who uh, jumped on the whole uh, RDBMS, the Relational Database Management System, basically implementing SQL-based databases into web apps and websites, people who jumped on that bandwagon, which is early on, in the, when it was early on in the game, uh, we did really, really well because everybody was leaving the less efficient, uh, dirtier, flat file-based database system for the Relational Database-based uh, web apps and you did really well because you're leveraging this great new technology. That's what AI is today. It's not going to replace developers. It's going to provide a, uh, a new tool that, should be, that will be implemented for a lot of companies for their purposes. So if you get into AI development early on in the game, that means now, uh, you're going to be doing very, very well. That doesn't necessarily mean becoming an AI developer, but just understanding how AI can be integrated into websites and web apps. That's why in my mentoring program, we are now bringing in more and more AI related content. So yes, you got to learn your fundamentals. You got to learn the languages, the HTML5, CSS3, the JavaScript, the Python, the PHP, the SQL and databases. You got to learn all that for sure. But once you got those fundamentals down, then you jump into the AI game and it's gonna, you're looking for work. People who embrace that technology is gonna do very well. So yes, to answer your questions, developer uh, jobs will only increase, but you're gonna see a shift in the type of developers or the skill sets that developers will be required to have in the future. So if you jump on it early, you'll be an early adopter and you'll get all the benefits of early adoption of any new technology. Hope that helps, I'm Uncle Steph. And uh, I'm the world's oldest developer. Sometimes I forget my own name. I'm 169 years old. And you can check out my mentoring program at UncleSteph.com. And I also have standalone courses you can uh, check out at uh, StudioWeb.com. All right, we'll talk soon. Bye-bye. All the links are below.